Moso bamboo. Moso bamboo is one of the tallest temperate bamboos and the largest temperate bamboos you can grow. Unfortunately, no higher than 7B hardiness zone in the USA. And unfortunately, it freezes all the way to the ground if it gets below 5 degrees, which has happened to me before. Had to start all over with it. By all over, I mean it comes back after being cut to the ground the next year. Very, very small and very, very skimpy. You gotta baby it. I have to keep my horses out of it because they will tear it to pieces. They will tear it to pieces. Um, so it's a good thing because I can bend it down in the wintertime and I can feed them because even though it only grows shoots during the month of May and then sleeps the rest of the year, it still produces new leaves constantly. So it's a wonderful forage crop and um, good for livestock. It sure would be good for the timber industry. One reason is because it's not going to require any chemical herbicides and you won't have to respray it every year until it's three or four years old like we do our pines with herbicides to keep any competitors out. And then after we harvest the pine, we have to replant everything and respray before we plant and then spray again for a couple more years. This stuff, we could plant it and we could leave it and three or four years later we could cut it down, harvest it, leave it alone, let it grow for three or four more years to get its strength back, cut it again, harvest it, probably for hundreds of years. And we wouldn't need any chemical herbicides. And underneath it, we could still have all these understory plants, just as if it was any forest. As a matter of fact, in Asia, all kinds of animals have adapted to it. From my, it's my understanding that even giraffes used to live in Asia. Maybe they adapted their um, long necks because they were able to reach the canopy and eat all those leaves and open up the canopy so that the sun could shine through and even more grasses could grow down below and more herbaceous plants, broadleafs, stuff like that, fruiting plants. But this is how big it is. I mean, it's huge. This thing is, is massive. Most of it's beautiful. And it comes up in the springtime with a sheath that's got a little fuzz on it. Very interesting. Follostachys edgeless because it's edge edible. And um, people eat it. The majority of people do. The Asians eat it. And it's very tasty. I've had plenty of bamboo shoots. But you have to harvest them in the month of May here because it's the only time we have any bamboo shoots. Anyhow, I've been told this can get 90 feet tall. I think I've had this about 15 years and I'm pretty happy with it. The horses are pretty happy with it too, as you can see. I keep them out with this barbed wire fence though, so they don't tear it to smithereens. Anyway, that's it.